Good evening. And it is a good evening, right? We have We have come a long way. Back in July of last year, we started at the Henry Ford. And people came up to me and said, did you know you're at 2% and if you apply the margin of error, you could be a negative number? <laughs> and I thanked them for that kind comment. Because it was okay to be different. Because this was about the idea of taking a vision, a plan, an attitude of action, and building a fabulous team, a wonderful group of people. And now we're at a milestone. The citizens of the state of Michigan have spoken. It is time to reinvent Michigan. And before I make some comments, I'd like to do a few thank yous. The first thank you I'd like to do is thank Mayor Bonero. He was very kind in his call. He was very gracious. I appreciate a hard-fought race, and so let's say a round of thanks to Mayor Bonero. This is about us working and winning together. The next group I'd like to thank is I'd like to send a shout out to all those successful candidates tonight. We have a wonderful ticket and congratulations to many that were up here earlier tonight. And the third congratulations is I'd like to send congratulations to who I'm looking forward to being a fabulous partner with me, Brian Kelly and his wonderful family. And I have three thank yous. The first thank you and the most heartfelt thank you, because I wouldn't be here without them, are the people standing on the stage with me, my wonderful family. Thank you to Sue, Jeff, Melissa, and Kelsey for their wonderful effort. The second group I'd like to thank are the campaign team, our volunteers, and the Margin of Error Club members, and you know who you are. And the third people I'd like to thank, whether they voted for me or not, are the citizens of the state of Michigan. It's an honor to be standing here. And now I'd like to make a few comments. That while this is a great party here tonight, while, why are we all really here tonight? And why I hope people are watching at home. It's, well, the reason that brought us here, though, is because we all love Michigan. And we have a state that's suffering. We have a state with a broken economy and a broken government. But I'm not here tonight to talk about the problems, nor am I here to talk about blame. I'm here tonight to talk about the solution. And while many of you have heard it, it's worth talking about again. And that solution is three key steps. The first step is we need a clear, positive vision for Michigan's future, a place where, as Michiganders, we can work and win together and be a great state. The second step is if we have point A, the disaster, and point B, the vision. What's the plan to get us between those two steps? And the third thing is, is taking action. And when I talk about taking action, it's not about just doing activities. It's not about talking about things. It's about taking action that makes a real difference in real people's lives.
First, the vision. I have a bold vision for Michigan's future. It is time for a new era. It is time for the era of innovation. And why do I say that? We've had two eras in our history. We had the natural resources era. We had the industrial era in the 1900s. But beneath both of those topics, there was a spirit in Michiganders, a spirit of fire, a passion in each one of us that brought us together. And that spirit helped revolutionize not just the state, but the country and the world. And what was that spirit? It was the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship, and it is time to get that spirit back. And there are three key pillars to that era. The first one is economic. It's about having a globally diverse, competitive economy, offering increasing prosperity to our families. It's about quality of life. One element we all know about is we are truly blessed in this state with some of the world's greatest natural resources. We are, the Great Lakes, the 11,000 lakes, but we're going to have to work harder to protect them. We have threats of things like the Asian carp. We need to enhance them. We need to enjoy them. We need to market them better with things like Pure Michigan. The second part of quality of life, though, is a tougher topic. It is fundamental that we restore our central cities. We have not succeeded at that. And Michigan can, will only be a great state when its cities are on that path, in particular when Detroit is on the path to being a great city again. The third pillar, the third pillar is about our young people. Our young people are leaving this state at an alarming rate, and we have got to create an environment where they not only want to stay, but can stay and have a family and a career. And it's time for that. It's great to have you young people here tonight. It's great to have wonderful children, but let's keep them here and let them succeed. Now that's a vision for our future where we can work and win together. Now the plan. And don't worry, I'm not doing all 10 points. <laughs> Number one on that list is the need for more and better jobs. Now the role of government is not to create jobs, but to create an environment where jobs can flourish. And what's one of the key levers? It is time to eliminate the Michigan business tax and replace it with a flat 6% corporate income tax. It is time to redo our regulatory environment. Currently, Lansing has an attitude where bad should be controlled. That's backwards. The average person is a good, honest person. The average organization are good, honest people. And we need to focus on the exceptions and the problems. So, and it is time for bureaucracy to go away. It is time for a new form of government. And what does that government look like? It's simple. It's customer service government. It's to treat you, the citizen, as the customer. We need to look at life through your eyes and ask two simple questions. How do we help you succeed and how do we get out of the way? And when we ask you for a dollar of revenue, instead of just taking your money and spending your money, we show you value for money, that we're making a difference in real people's lives. That's the government you deserve, and that's the government you're going to get. Now action. It is time for action. But to do this action, it is time to repair a broken culture. Our culture is broken in this state. We have been beaten up for too many years. We've had our heads down too much. We've become too negative. We've become too divisive. We've gotten caught up too much in a win-lose attitude, and it shows up in partisanship. It shows up in geography, the east side versus the west side. 
shows up in racial and ethnic issues. For us to be a great state, it is time to start that belief in extraordinary items again. And we need to change our culture in three key aspects. It is time to stop being negative and to start being positive. It is time to stop looking in the rearview mirror and look towards the future. And it is time to stop being divisive and to start being inclusive and win together as Michiganders. And to do that, I have to ask something of all of you. Tonight, there is fire and passion in this audience. And people have been focused on an election. But to me, to you, I hope, this is much more than an election. This is about an effort to reinvent Michigan. And to be successful, to make that happen, the hard work is going to start in January and go on for the foreseeable future. So I need that fire, that passion in each one of you to grow, to become stronger, to spread to every citizen in our state, to stand together to say it is time to reinvent Michigan with passion for the foreseeable future. Are you with me? Thank you. And, and there's one more thing. To do it right, to do it the right way, is it is time to drop the labels. All of us carry far too many labels of party, of ideology, of geography, so many different labels. To make this work, there is only one label that matters. That, that label is Michigander. It is time for us to come together as Michiganders, to stand up together, to say, here is a vision for the future. Here is a plan. Here is an attitude of action in a positive, forward-looking, inclusive fashion. And by doing that, by doing that for the foreseeable future, we will create more and better jobs. We will keep our young people here. And we will be a great state again. Thank you so much.